I lived in Salonika, in a small hut with my family. My father, my mother, and six sisters. Every morning, I uh, used to wake up at 6 o'clock to buy my father's newspapers. And after that, climb trees to collect the fruits. Later, I used to go to school. I was a bad student, and my teachers hated me for making pranks. One day, I woke up and I heard noises that I have never heard before. I went outside. It was dark. The sky was covered with airplanes. I went to the center of the city. I saw hundreds of tanks, motorbikes, carts, and German soldiers marching. After a while, all Jewish schools and businesses closed. People started paying off the Gestapo to not hurt their families. Months passed. People died from hunger and illness. They ordered us to wear numbers on our backs and a yellow symbol on our chests. We couldn't even use the main streets, but only the back alleys. Saturday, 11 of July, 1942, the Germans gathered 6,000 Jewish men at the center of the city and started whipping everyone without mercy. Months later, we sold our house to the Germans as a payment to send us to Poland. And we were promised a new apartment and a job, but everything was a lie. 15 of March, 1943, was the worst day of my life. The Nazis gathered 2,000 Jews from our city on the trains and sent them to Auschwitz. They put me, my family, and 100 people in a small wagon we barely could fit in. It took us seven days to arrive. They divided us to men and women, young and elderly. They put us in different buses. It was the last day I saw my family. Me and 400 arrived at the gates of Arbeit macht frei. We didn't have enough time to relax. They immediately sent me and 50 Greek Jews to work at the fields of Babich. I was beaten every day by guards because I couldn't understand what they were saying to me. Six months later, my friend who was the secretary of the prison archives found out they were planning to send me to the ovens of Auschwitz. He changed my file and I was assigned to be a blacksmith even though I've never held the hammer. Every week we were paid six marks and I spent it in the canteen to buy mustard. Every week I traded my bottle of mustard to the Polish prisoners. They gave me bread and I traded it for cigarettes. If you had cigarettes in prison, you could buy anything you like. One day they caught me stealing a barrel of soup. My punishment was to be whipped 60 times. After that, a girl helped me, Eliza. She became the love of my life. We started dating in secret for months, but one fortunate day the Nazis sent her to Section 10, medical experiments. They did sterilization to women. In 1945, they sent me to Austria, Mauthausen. It was full of people and not enough space for me to stay. They worked us to death. They threw me in a well for days and then I saw soldiers from above trying to help me. Then, I realized I finally escaped hell.